Hello, dear students. This is your engineering mathematics three lecture. Today's topic is Laplace transform. This topic is from second unit. What is Laplace transform? The definition: Laplace transform of function f of t when t greater than zero is defined as the uh, that L operator is used to denote Laplace transform. L of f of t is equal to. You write f of t in curly brackets. L of f of t means Laplace transform of f of t is equal to integration of zero to infinity e raised to minus s t f of t dt is equal to f of s. Means if we solve this integration term, where well, differential coefficient is dt, this t is variable. This is parameter. If we solve this integration. It will be in terms of s, so you will get a function of s. So Laplace transform of f of t is equal to the integration from zero to infinity e raised to minus s t f of t dt, which is equal to f of s. This is the definition of Laplace transform. Okay. Laplace transform of some standard functions. So, Laplace transform of some standard functions. Laplace of e raised to at exponential function and the coefficient is here a constant coefficient is a. Laplace transform of e raised to at is equal to one upon s minus a. Now, like the formula of integration and derivative, these are the formula of Laplace transform. Laplace transform of some standard functions. Laplace of e raised to at is Equal to one upon s minus. A. You can prove it by using the definition of Laplace transform. You put you know, f of t is equal to e raised to at in this integration. You solve this integration, and you will get e, e to the equal to one upon s minus a. So you just remember the results formally, and we are going to solve the examples based on the uh, results. So Laplace transform of e raised to at is equal to one upon s minus a. So Laplace transform of e raised to minus a t is equal to one upon s plus a. When the coefficient is minus a, then in denominator the term is s plus a. When the coefficient is plus a, then in denominator the term is s minus a. The next Laplace transform of one is equal to one upon s. Laplace transform of hyperbolic sine function is a upon s square minus a square. Laplace transform of hyperbolic cos function cos a t is equal to s upon s square minus a square. Laplace transform of sin a t, trigonometric sine function a t is equal to a upon s square plus a square. Then Laplace transform of trigonometric cos function cos a t is equal to s upon s square plus a square. Laplace transform of t raised to n is equal to gamma n plus one upon s plus n plus one. Or it is also equal to n factorial upon s raised to n plus one if n is positive integer. Then in that case, it is n factorial upon s raised to n plus one. Otherwise, it is gamma n plus one upon s raised to n plus one. Next is Laplace transform of error function of root t. Error function is a special function. It's a Laplace transform of error function of root t is equal to one upon s into under root s plus one. Now next properties of Laplace transform. The first property, first she is in theorem. Laplace transform of e raised to minus a t into f of t is equal to f of s plus a. Okay. Laplace transform of f of t is f of s, and then Laplace transform of this product. One of them is exponential, and second one is f of t. It is equal to f of s plus a. Means you first find f of s. What is f of s? It is Laplace transform of f of t, and then you find the Laplace transform of this product. It is to minus a t into f of t. It is equal to f of x plus a. Then next is second shifting term. It is if g of t, g of t is a function defined in two intervals. It is equal to f of t minus a when t is greater than a. It is zero when t is less than a. Then Laplace of g of t is equal to e raised to minus a s into f of s. This is second shifting theorem. The change of scale property: Laplace of f of a t is equal to one upon a into f of s upon a. Now, what is f of s? 
f of x is laplace transpose of f of t and after finding laplace transpose of f of t you find laplace transpose of f of a t by using change of scale property is 1 upon a into f of x by a means in f of x we just replace s by s upon a and multiply that f of s by a term by 1 by a that will be the laplace transpose of f of a t then the next property is laplace transform of derivative laplace transform of f dash of t is equal to s into f of s minus f of 0 laplace transform of f double dash of t is equal to s square into f of s minus s into f of 0 minus f dash of 0 laplace transform of f triple dash of t is equal to s cube f of s minus s square f of 0 minus s f of dash of 0 minus s f double dash of 0 so this is Laplace transform that is the difficult. You can uh, generalize it. You can write for the fourth derivative also, fifth derivative, and the derivative. You can generalize this property. Laplace transform of integrals. Laplace transform of integration over 0 to t, f of t dt is equal to 1 upon s into f of t. Means if uh, uh, find out the Laplace transform of integral, then you first find Laplace transform of function f of t, that will be f of s, and you just divide it by s to find the Laplace transform of integral, limit 0 to t. Then Laplace transform is of double integration 0 to t f of t dt is equal to 1 upon s square into f of s, means you divide the term by s square. So triple integration, you divide it by s square, and so on, you can generalize it. Multiplication by t property, multiplication by t raised to n. Laplace transform of t raised to n into f of t is equal to minus 1 raised to n into n the derivative of f of s with respect to n. Then division by t property. Laplace transform of f of t upon t, division by t, is equal to integration or s to infinity f of s ds. This is last division by t property. Convolution theorem. Laplace transform of f of t into g of t. There are two functions f of t and g of t. Then the convolution of f of t and g of t is given uh, by f of t star g of t. And Laplace transform of this convolution of these two functions is equal to Laplace of integration over 0 to t, f of u, g of t minus u, du. So if you solve this integration, uh, solve this term, you will get the Laplace transform. It is equal to f of s into g of s. f of s is the Laplace transform of f of t, g of s is the Laplace transform of g of t. This is the notation theorem. Then initial value theorem, limit of f of t as t tends to 0 is equal to limit of s into f of s as s tends to infinity. This is initial value theorem. Then final value theorem, limit of f of t as t tends to infinity is equal to limit of s into f of s as s tends to 0. This final value theorem. So these are the properties of Laplace transfer. Now the example. So the first example, find Laplace transform of e raised to 2t into cos t into cos 2t. So find the Laplace transform of this function. Now we know that two cos a cos b is equal to cos of a minus b plus cos of a plus b. See, in the given example, inside the bracket, there are three functions, product of three functions. We can find the Laplace transform of product of two functions when one of them is exponential and second one is any function of t. Using shifting property, we can find its Laplace transform. But here, there are three functions, product of three functions. So, uh, you convert these three functions in terms of two. How to convert? e raised to 2t as it is, cos t into cos 2t. Here, you multiply and divide this term by 2. 2 cos t into cos 2t upon t. So, here you can use the formula 2 cos a cos b, which is cos of a minus b plus cos of a plus b. So, right, Laplace of cos t into cos 2t is equal to 1 by 2 into Laplace of multiply and divide it by 2. So, 1 by 2 as it is, Laplace of cos of a minus b. a minus b. 2t minus t is t plus cos of a plus b, 2t plus t dt. So it is cos dt. Okay. So Laplace transform of cos t into cos 2t is equal to 1 by 2. 
Now, what is Laplace transform of cos t? It is s upon s square plus 1. Because, see, what is the formula to find the Laplace transform of cos at? It is s upon s square plus a square. A is the coefficient of angle of cos function. So it is s upon s square plus a square. So we are using the same formula here. The coefficient of uh, cos function is 1. So it is s upon s square plus 1 square. 1 square means 1 plus cos 3t. Laplace transform of cos 3t coefficient is 3. So it is s upon s square plus this square, this square is 9. So this is the Laplace transform of cos t into cos 2t. Now Laplace transform of e raised to 2t into cos t into cos 2t, which is equal to now use their shifting property to find the Laplace transform of e raised to 2t into cos t into cos 2t, which is equal to 1 by 2 as it is. Now replace s, see what is shifting property. Laplace transform of e raised to minus 18 to f of t is f of s plus a. When the coefficient of exponential function is minus a, then we write here s plus a. There is product of two functions. One of them is f of t, second one is exponential. And the power of exponential function is negative. Coefficient is minus a, then we replace that s by s plus a. So here, the Power of exponential function is uh, coefficient is 2 plus 2. If it is min minus a, then we will replace s by s plus a. But here it is plus, so we are going to replace s by s minus 2 in every term. Replace s by s minus 2. s minus 2 upon s minus 2 whole square plus 1 plus s minus 2 upon s minus 2 whole square plus 9. Okay. So on. Okay, so we are using here shifting property, first shifting property to find the Laplace transform of e raised to 2t, first t, first t. Okay. Now the second example, find the Laplace transform of e raised to 2t into sine cube t. Now there is product of two functions, one of them is trigonometric function sine cube t and second one is exponential. So again, using shifting property for shifting, we can find the Laplace transform. But here the sine function is not linear, means uh, it is not only sine function, it is sine to t. To make it linear, how to make it linear? Using the equal angle formula, sine to t. So 3 sine t minus 4 sine to t. So using that formula, we can write sine to t is equal to 3 by 4 into sine t minus 1 by 4 into sine to t using the triple angle formula. So 1 by 4 is common, so take it common, sorry, separate these two terms, t by 4 into Laplace of sin t minus 1 by 4 into Laplace of sin t, t by 4 as it is Laplace of sin t, Laplace of sin a t is a upon a square plus a square, using the formula, now you can, uh, so what is Laplace of sin a t, it is a upon a square plus a square, a is coefficient or constant coefficient of sine function. So we are using the same formula here. The coefficient, constant coefficient uh, is t is 1. So it is 1 upon s square plus 1 minus 1 by 4. Laplace of sine 3 t. The value of a is 3. So it is 3 upon s square plus 9. So this is the Laplace function of sine to t. Now what is Laplace transform of e raised to 2 t into sine to t? Again, use the shifting property, first shifting property. Here the coefficient of exponential function is 2, so plus 2, so replace s by s minus 2. So replace. So this is where f of s, here in f of s, you replace every term of s by s minus 2. So this is the, this is your answer. That plus function, a raised to 2, 3, to sign to Now, third example, if Laplace transform of sine t upon t is equal to tan inverse 1 by s, find Laplace transform of sine a t upon t. Laplace transform of sine t upon t is tan inverse 1 by s. It is given. Assume it is equal to f of s. Then la what is Laplace transform of sine a t upon t? Then use here change of scale property. Then it is equal to 1 by a into tan inverse 
वन अपॉन एस बाय ए चेंज ऑफ स्केल प्रॉपर्टी वॉट इज चेंज ऑफ स्केल प्रॉपर्टी सी है लैपलास ऑफ एफ ऑफ एट इज इक्वल टू वन अपॉन ए इंटू एफ ऑफ एस बाय ए इन एफ ऑफ एस यू रिप्लेस एस बाय एस अपॉन ए and the coefficient of c is a so we are doing the same thing here in place of c there is 80 means this function is f of 80 then you replace every term of s by s upon a so um, this is your f of s so replace the term of s by s upon a here and multiply the complete term by 1 by a Using change of scale property, so we are using the change scale change of scale property here. Now fourth example is here. Evaluate Laplace transform of p into sine cube p. Now Laplace transform of sine cube p is equal to sine cube p. There is no formula to find Laplace transform of sine cube p directly. You use triple angle formula and make it simple. How to Make it simple. You know, sine three theta is equal to three sine theta minus four sine theta, theta. From this formula, you will get the value of sine theta, and it is equal to plus of three by four sine theta minus one by four sine theta. This so bracket term is the value of sine theta using triple angle formula. Now separate both the terms. If you separate, it is three by four into plus of sine theta minus one by four into plus of sine theta. d by 4 as it is laplace of sin t is 1 upon s square plus 1 minus 1 by 4 laplace of sin t t is d upon s square plus 9 so using the formula of laplace of sin t so we can do laplace transform so laplace of sin t t is equal to d by 4 into bracket d by 4 is common in both the terms so take it common and remaining term 1 upon s square plus 1 minus One upon s square plus nine. So this is Laplace transform of sine theta. Now Laplace transform of t into sine theta. We are using multiplication by t property. See what is multiplication by t property here? This is multiplication by t property. Laplace of t raised to n into f of t is equal to minus one raised to n into n the derivative of f of s with respect to s. Here when power of t is n. Then we write minus one plus n, and then uh, n the derivative of s of t. But here the power of t is one. Power of t is one. So put n is equal to one in the figure. So minus one plus one into n the derivative of this f of s. This is the term f of s. You differentiate it with respect to s at one only because n is equal to one. P by four constant, right? As it is, derivative of this bracket term with respect to s. I mean, it is equal to derivative of one upon s square plus one is minus one upon s square plus one whole square, and the composite derivative of s square is two s minus sine. As it is, what is the derivative of one upon s square plus nine? It is minus. Minus minus it will be now plus upon s square plus nine whole square into composite derivative of s square is two s. So minus three by four in bracket minus two s upon s square plus one whole square plus two s upon s square plus nine whole square. So this is the Laplace transform of p into sine theta. It is three by two. That two s is common. From the bracket, two s is common, so two to the four. So it is after simplification, it is three s upon. We have taken minus sign also common. So this is your answer after taking minus two s common. This is Laplace transform of p into sine theta. Okay. Next example, you evaluate Laplace of p sine four. You can easily evaluate it. If you first find Laplace transform of sine four t, it will be a sorry four upon s square plus sixty, and then using la, the property multiplication by t property, you just differentiate that uh, Laplace transform of sine four t with respect to s at once, because the power of t is one means m is one, then you will get the Laplace transform of p sine four t. So these are some. 
examples of Laplace transform, two examples on Laplace transform properties. Um, Laplace transform of some standard. So this question is over here. Thank you.